You are now live. We're live. We are live. What's up, Tony? What's up, Ricky? I'm glad you are hanging out with me tonight. I am too. It yeah. feels like it's been forever. Yeah, it, this has been a long week. And see, this is two weeks in a row. Like you, you kicked it with me last week. I know, but it feels like because we don't sit and do a show together often. So right, ever. I was like, I was elated last week. Um, I'm elated this week. I yeah. wanted Chris to be here. <laughs> yeah, I did too. I did too. You know, unfortunately, of course, Chris, you know, he can't be here tonight on the show. Um, he had to take care of some things and everything like that. He hit me up, let me know what was up and everything. So, but he, I'm, I'm sure he might chime in, you know, at the end, like he did last week. Yeah. He was texting and driving. You know that, right? <laughs> yeah, I yeah, know. He was Yeah, he was breaking all type of rules and laws and everything. So, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you know, I'm excited. I think honestly, I think Chris, okay, he said he has something important to do, but you know, today is game 1 of uh the finals, Golden State and Cleveland. Yeah. And yeah. you know Chris, Chris is like a big time Big time, like super big time basketball. Well, sports fan, period. You know, so so you he, think he ducked out on us for that? I I think I think he's over there yelling at the screen right now somewhere at some sports bar. You, you think know? so? <laughs> you think so? I don't know. He, he better not be because I'm gonna be know. really ticked. I think I Watch. think he might. I think I think he might be. Uh, I think he might be placing bets right now. I don't know. Watch, and so we're going to get something on his Facebook page, or it's going to float around on Facebook. He's at some sports bar. Yeah, he's going to tag. He's going to share his uh, his location. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to see pictures <laughs> with him and his friends. Exactly. <laughs> oh, man. So, no, so now this is an interesting topic because Chris came up with this topic over the weekend. Yeah. You know. Um, and, and I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. I I was a, a little like surprised. I was like, whoa, okay. I know because I was a, I was surprised because I'm thinking, where was his brain right. when this came up? Because it right. didn't sound like a topic that you would pick. Right. Not at all. It, it it doesn't sound like a topic that he would pick at all. Usually he would talk about something like, okay. Fat girls wearing small clothes or, right. you know, something like that. Or you need to get back into the gym or, right. you know, something like that. So I was really surprised, um, you know, about this topic because tonight's topic, if you didn't see the promo yet, you know, it's going to be, um, you know, homophobic. Are you yeah. homophobic? Homophobia. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm actually glad that we're talking about this because I think it's, it's almost like that racism type of conversation it really is i'm glad you even um you were even bring, uh, being able to bring the parallels of how they actually do sit side by side in a lot of ways yes yeah. you know it's interesting that you would say that i had thought the same thing when i was writing it yeah it, it's it's one of those things where you know the the person will say i'm not racist but they're low-key doing things that are racist you know, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. me, I, I might say I'm not homophobic, but I might in my everyday actions or even in something that I I'm not even I'm subconsciously doing that. I don't even know that I'm doing. Right. You know, right. It, it's right. one of those things. So yeah. this is going to be a heavy, heavy topic. It is a know? very, very heavy topic. And and I think and even before we had uh, gotten on air, we had our conversation because uh, Hot Topics has done this subject matter before. Really? And I, yeah. And uh, I try and be as sensitive as I possibly can when doing certain right. topics. Because the intention is never to offend any group of people, uh, yeah. anyone who has a certain belief in religion. I'm really conscious about that. Right. Um, Although, Me you know, too. we joke around and we have fun and things like that. I mean, for goodness sakes, I even have Pastor Ray, you know, Pastor had a show on yeah. the network before. So, yeah, and, Pastor Ray. yeah, and see, and even with him uh, being this man of the cloth, 
he knows how crazy I am, but I would never say anything that would be offensive to him, nor to exactly. the people who have a belief in Christ or any other b- belief. Um, I'm real sensitive to certain things, but we had done uh, a show on uh, homosexuality uh, a few years back. And uh, that was probably, I, I can say for now, it is still one of the highest rated shows that wow. and also on human trafficking. But that wow. that show on homosexuality hit 5,000 listeners at once, where it ended up crashing our board twice. Um, wow. That's and amazing. Yeah. And when we did the show, there were certain things that, you know, certain words that were used, certain uh, phrases that were used. And uh, I learned a lot uh, really? by doing that show that certain things we want to stay away from. Now, now see, you could have gave me a concerned. heads up. You could have gave me a heads up because, see, I've never <laughs> talked about this subject, Tony. And so I might come on here and just say something all the way wrong and not even know <laughs> that I'm like, you know, hurting somebody's feelings. Well, you could have at least gave me a heads up. But let me say this. Let me say this. That's so um, right. <laughs> no, I mean, you, because even before we went on air, I said there are certain things you do want to stay away from. Okay, okay. but right. I would not tell you not to do a do a, a subject or a topic uh, because I think that in it all, it's a learning experience. Because whatever I have, whatever I had done on those past shows with with uh, with the rest of the group, when we did those shows. Right. It was a learning experience, you know, and it made us more aware uh, when okay. we got certain feedback as to how we address certain things. So right. I could never tell you not to do this show because it's going to bring you a level of understanding that you didn't have before. Right. Well, let me let me tell you, I want to break this down just a little bit, Tony, because I want to okay. go down. I want to break a lot of stuff down tonight. OK, I want to talk about the. I want to talk about just the whole, you know, generational thing tonight. Mm-hmm, I want mm-hmm. to talk about how religion plays a part in in this tonight. Mm-hmm. Um, even, of course, the the in my generation versus your generation. I mean, I want to go down that road tonight. It, it okay. might be it might be nice. It might be ugly, but I want us to have a real conversation tonight. Okay, okay, about I'm it. I'm with it. I'm with it. You know, I, I hope the it. listeners can dig it too. Yeah, you know. and I'm sure they will because, like I said, if anything that we have going on right now and what we do tonight, if anything that it will be, it will be a learning experience, and it will probably hit into some consciousness that you you probably haven't hit before. Right. No. Okay. And and hopefully you can kind of guide me since you've done a show on this topic before. You know, just just wink at me if I go a little too far. Just, yeah, just wink at me. Just be like, like, hold up, hold up. Just stop me, okay? But um, of course, I gotta now. I gotta welcome the, the the listeners, and of course, I have to, uh, you know, before we can really, really, really get into it, I gotta, of course, thank our sponsors. Mm-hmm. You know, Shades of Africa with two locations, SPMG Media with our very own Gina Smith, also FES Protection and Urban Sentinel with our very own Reggie Kearney. Make sure you go over to the hottopicstalkradio.com website to check out more information on our sponsors. Also, if you mention, if you go into any of these stores, any of the locations, or do business with any of our sponsors, make sure you mention the Hot Topics Talk Radio Network, okay? Because they have some good stuff that they will give you because you mention Hot Topics Talk Radio. It could be discounts, all type of little stuff, you know what I mean? So make sure you go over there, check it out, and tell them that uh, Richard sent you. Richard from Man to Man TV sent you. Or you can say beautiful Tony Breedlove did too. You know, you know that's always you know mentioning her name. You you might you might get ahead in life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you might become a <laughs> co-owner. No, I'm just there kidding. <laughs> so um, so yeah. So we got Lucy. What's up, Lucy? I see you. What's up, Emerald? What's up, Shug? I see you, man. I see you guys all chimed in. Thank you guys so much for chiming in. And look, I'm gonna be uh watching the comments tonight because I want you guys to, I need, I need your help. Okay. I need you guys' help as well. Cause you know, I'm not always politically correct. And I know for damn sure, Chris is never politically correct. Ever. Never. You know, and Tony, you know, so if I say something wrong, uh, 
y'all have to just pray for me, okay? Don't judge me. Pray for me. If that's all right, okay, y'all? <laughs> so, all right. So, I'm just going to go straight to it. Are you homophobic, Tony? Absolutely not. How do you know you're not? Because I believe that uh, no matter who, no matter who someone chooses or whom someone falls in love with or dates, that's on them. That okay. I, I, it, it's completely on them. Uh, there are some people who would say, you know, because I know that we're going to get into the issues of the Bible and how that relates, right, and, and all that yeah. good stuff. But for the uh, context of tonight's show, because it was written in a standpoint of the differences of generations. Okay. You know, uh, talking about what era are you living in that relates to homosexuality and how you feel about it. So right. because it was written in that context. That is where we're going to go. But right. in a lot of ways, because a lot of people today, you find more people now turning to Christianity, now turning to uh, areas of Buddhism and uh, all of these different areas. There are certain things about certain religions, especially in Catholicism as well, that says that it is an abomination. Right. Well, you know, just sexual. recently... I don't mean to I don't mean to cut you off, but to add to what you're saying about Catholicism, um, there's this guy, I forgot his name, but he went he he there was like this news thing that happened where he said he had a conversation with the Pope. And mm. the Pope basically acknowledged and said that being gay was okay. That God's creature, you know, you're God's We're all child. God's creatures, right. Right. We're all God's, you know, I don't, I don't know all of the details. Maybe one of the listeners, it was just something I heard in passing when I was watching the news, um, mm -hmm. you know, real briefly, maybe a few weeks ago. And so I was like, wait, okay. The Pope said that. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. You know, so it, it was, it was, it was really, uh, you know, it's kind of interesting. That but don't that. you think that, I mean, I know that we're talking about, um, we're talking about the, issues that people have with homosexuality, right. which, you know, we refer to as uh, being homophobic. homophobic. Right. But um, when we look at religion now in a whole, do you think that religion now is not being followed uh, per se book to book or to the T hang on to the T when it comes to homosexuality? Why you got to hit me with that question? I, well, I, mean, I, I think, say, hey, let's let's do it. Okay, now let's bring it up. Well, it, it really, it really, I can't. That's a difficult question because there are so many different quote unquote denominations where you know right. you have you have the the Pentecostal, you have um, the Kojic, you have there's so many different denominations where. Um, then you have the evangelicals, you know, yeah. where they're just like strictly, this is what it is. And this that's, is there's, no with the right, there's no, right. there's no Adam and Adam and Eve. It, I mean, there's no Adam and Steve. It's Adam and Eve. Um, you know, it's not evolving. And then you have some, you have gay churches with yeah. uh, like a, a gay pastor or minister mm -hmm. and like the whole congregation. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, mm -hmm. I can't really say that they're, you know, like, I can't say what's what you have. It's almost like it's almost like a build a bear in a way. And I and some people might oh, hate so. me for it. it oh, well, so. I hate, some people might hate me for saying this, but um, it's almost like there's this new like there's not new form, but it's just let me let me make religion to appeal to people. I guess the way that it's society is today, in a right. Way. And 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 and. I'm glad you said that because I was thinking the same thing because okay. I don't think that we have now when we talk about and I'm trying to stay on, on topic because I'm not trying not to go too far, but okay. when we talk about religion and when we talk about homosexual, homosexuality, uh, like uh, Latifah was saying, there are churches now that are strictly for homosexuals. Um, but mm. 
it's interesting that you would say that we are, I think, trying to adjust right. our religion right. and whatever that may be uh, to yeah. adjust to our lifestyles or our way of living or whom we love or who we date or, you know, and, and it's not, I'm not saying lifestyles for homosexuals because I've gotten into that, you know, that kind of talk before. So I've learned that it's not a lifestyle that is just their living. Okay? Right. Now, you know, you know, it's interesting. You said that it's not a lifestyle, like my neighbors, right? My neighbors, there's a husband and husband or like hus husband and husband. Mm -hmm. they're they, they're gay they they live right next door to me nicest people in the world mm -hmm. and everything like that and you know i have conversations with them from time to time you know i'm passing um but i i low-key like kind of had to check myself a little bit because my, my wife told well my wife told me she she thinks sometimes that i could be homophobic how so like i'm so non-judgmental I, I don't judge other people's lives. Well, you or... can't be non judgmental and not okay. be Here, okay. Here, or here's being homophobic. Well, okay, and it might sound a little hypocritical. It might sound okay. a little hypocritical, Tony. But bear with me. Just hear me out. I have, however, people decide to live their life is how they live their life, mm -hmm. right? Right. Mm -hmm. um, I have cousins and family members and everybody you know that are gay. And everything like that but am i wrong because like for me i can't i can't watch gay porn i like i can't i mean myself. why would you if well, that's what you're I'm saying. not but that's what i'm saying like that's like the thought of 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 two like grown men like i guess being physical with each other it, it's it's like to me maybe it's maybe it's because I, you know, I don't understand it or, you know, I don't know, but it's just like, well, I don't okay. think it would be. Well, OK, first of all, it's not I don't think and I'm not going to be out here, you know, speaking for the LGBTQ community. Right. However, right. I will be able to say that uh, I accept people. Right. OK, right. no matter who they love, right. uh, that that's not for us to judge. But what I will say is that. In some ways, you would not be able to watch gay porn because you're not a gay man. Right. Okay. And yeah. it's not a level of understanding. It's not a level of uh, trying to get it. Right. It's, it's the level of you not having that desire. It has right. nothing to do with it. Yeah. It has nothing to do with a level of understanding. Your right. understanding or your tolerance comes in when we are talking about people who love who they love. Right. No, and that's true. And I, you know, I have, I have a young cousin, you know, and I even have a friend um, that, you know, she came out to her mother, you know, a friend's child came out to her mother um, not too long ago, you know, and just to see how the closeness that after her child was able to come out to her, there was, it was, it was beautiful. It was oh, it was freeing wow. to Good. that child's spirit. Good. It was, it was Good. Good. yeah, you know. So I guess I, I I don't I guess I'm not homophobic. Then I'm not homophobic. I just that's just because I don't down people. That's you know I don't down people. Like I I love my wife, and I you know people can't choose who they fall in love with. You know, no, or what you they're don't. attracted to. Or, well, not even that. I mean, I some people might say that uh, homosexuality is. A choice it is i don't believe that it is a choice i truly okay. believe that well let me back up okay. i believe some people make it a choice uh, because they might be curious but when it, but they start crossing a line um when they say all uh people who are homosexual um are choosing to be homosexual. I don't believe that. I don't, I, I truly don't believe that. I believe that is a part mm. of your DNA. I believe that it is a part of who you are. Uh, and when you were formed from an egg and a sperm, it determined how your mind was going to be set up and who you would be attracted to. Okay. That's just the way I believe in it. Um, but a lot of people might say that, yes, you know, you make a choice. 
some men and women who uh, find themselves uh, in homosexual relationships or situations right. uh, later in life. I think that it was laying dormant before okay. uh, because you wouldn't, you wouldn't find the same sex attractive if there wasn't something there before. I just, right. I, I believe that. I believe or then low key, look at how many people used to, I guess, be closet about it, like in the 60s or the mm -hmm. 70s or the, even the mm -hmm. 50s, you know, because you had to be your man's man or your woman's woman or, you know, um, I mean, I'm sure it's been going on forever. It's been going on. But I mm -hmm. think people, they, they, they're real quick to judge mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. more than anything, you, you know? Right, right. You know, but. We have to, I mean, with everything that we have going on right now around us in our environment, uh, as far as what we see going on right now in the media throughout right. the country, um, being gay or being lesbian is the, is the least of our issues. Yeah, that's true. We got a lot of stuff going you on. You know? But and it is an issue, though, because it, the only reason why I say it's an issue, because, you know, gay people don't have equal rights, you know, the way that you and I might have, you know, our rights. You know, it's it's like they're just and that's why I guess I equated it to uh, to racism in a way. Mm -hmm. I compared it to racism a little bit in the beginning, you know, mm -hmm. because there's still people that shun on it, that mm -hmm. they're just like, uh uh. Not at all. Not going to have. Let's go to some of the comments because I see the. I see yeah, because you know what? Because Yvonne Baker, uh, she's disagreeing. And that's fine. Hold on. Let me that's see. Where's fine. Yvonne? Hold on. I don't see Yvonne. You don't see her yet? I don't see Yvonne's comment. Okay. Her comment. Okay. Her comment actually reads that she disagrees. She says she's known women that have become lesbians for convenience. Okay. But again, that goes back to the uh, the issue that I was raising. It was not an issue, but it goes back to the comment that I was raising that I believe that it there is some sort of predisposition, like it, like Emerald was saying earlier. Um, however, I did say that there are some men and some women who later on in life start to be with people of the same sex. Now. Right we can argue this all day and still come up with the same thing. Right. There are some women like Yvonne says that, you know, she know has known or knows that have become, uh, you know, attracted to women, maybe and possibly because they have had a bad experience with men. Right. Or, and you know, that over time, one of just multiple main, bad yeah. experiences. Absolutely. But yeah, but I do believe that, this is something that is in the gene when we are conceived. It has part of it is because if it weren't, then you would be able to uh, take a gay man or a lesbian woman who has been nothing but just on, you know, the same sex. Right. You'd be able to change their mind. Right. But you can't, but you can't. Right. Because they're attracted to because they attracted. love who they love. But you know the Period. one thing that gets under my skin, and and this cat wrote a book about it a long time ago. I think the one area where I will be judgmental, and I'm sure probably there's a lot of other people that feel this way, is the whole DL community, like the the down low community of of people. That's where I'm real judgmental. That's where I have a problem and, too. And I'm real like, what the hell is going on? Because when you when you when like say if you a DL brother or a DL guy or whatever. And you just got your whole situation at home and you're living a double life. I think it's wrong to, um, you know, potentially impact your family's life by the double life that you're living. Yeah, so mm -hmm. if you're doing that, you know, stop that shit. Mm -hmm. Stop it. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. You know, that that's yeah. that's what I will definitely have a problem with for sure. Yeah. About that. And I, you know what? I don't I, I, I don't think it's for me because I'm going to try and hit on more of what the topic is because I know we're still in yeah, the realm. We're in the okay? realm. We're still yeah, in the realm. We are. But um, to go back to what you were saying about uh, uh, the issues of uh, men who are on the down low. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. It's, I don't think it's so much as being judgmental of them being with a man. I think it's being that they have concealed that they are with men right. and sleeping with women too. Well, they're, you know? why are they putting so many people at risk? That's the, the real issue. If you're going to be, if you're going to be a DL brother or a DL woman or whatever, you know, just, just come out and change your life. Like just come out. Well, it's not even a matter of say coming out, but, if you are with a partner of the opposite sex, right? Tell them you don't right. have to come out to your whole community or to your right. family and friends. Right. At least be honest enough to have right. a transparent conversation with the person that you are laying down with, you know, I because agree. you run the risk of transmitting diseases and people's oh, feelings yeah. get hurt. Not at least be honest enough. You know, oh, to oh, you know, have some transparency with the person that you're you're being with. That's that's my thing. No, I agree. So let's let's go because we were getting ready to go to the, some of the comments real quick. And I know you okay. read Yvonne's comment. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's up, Lucy? I see you said, "Hey, Emerald said, what's up, y'all?" I'm sorry, sure, I didn't mean to yawn. <laughs> no, you good, <laughs> Elena? What's up, girl? I see you. Lucy says, uh, "Dating someone from a." from a different religion might have some conflict in the relationship. Okay. So mm -hmm. that was what we were talking about a little earlier. Um, then, okay. Latifah said it's more acceptable, but instead of people coming out, they are bringing the visual. It looks like it says they are bringing the visual to people. Example, teaching it at school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Okay. So they're teaching it in school. Yeah. I yeah. Okay. And that goes into the that goes into the basis, and I'm and I'm gonna finish letting you read your comments. But yeah. that goes into the basis of the era era that we are living in, era uh, the time period that we are living in. Um, and this is what Yvonne and I were. She was helping me write this topic because I was really struggling with it. But Wait, it goes Emerald, into hold on. Emerald, Emerald said a joke because you yawned. I guess when I was reading the comments, she said Tony is bored. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. No, I'm not. I'm really tired. You know, I do these shows all week, and I've been sitting in with every show. Uh, every show. Right. No, that's so, true. Hold on. I'm pretty I'm tired. Sorry. I'm sorry, you guys. I didn't mean to yawn. I'll do like this the next time. Yeah, that's what you do. <laughs> that's what you do, Tony. You're not going to be bored on my show, too. Oh, I'm not bored. <laughs> okay. So um, getting back to the comment real quick, uh, it says, uh, let's see. Oh, Emerald said there is no scientific gay gene, but I do believe there is a predisposition. Okay. So there's a predisposition, she I says. Believe that. And then um, Anjali said that she agreed with you. I'm assuming that was what an earlier comment. Mm -hmm. Mind changing has to happen. Okay. Oh, okay. Emerald, mind changing has happened. Kenya, she chimed in and she said, definitely born gay. Uh, DL men are putting too many people at risk, including themselves. That's what Kenya said. Yeah. Anjali said, I know some women that had bad relationships with men over and over and decided to try a relationship with a woman. And 10 plus years later, still together. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, yeah. And that goes to what Yvonne was saying, you know. Right. Where where, you know, she knows some lesbian women who have uh, decided to be with a woman, mm. you know, and maybe it's because they've been hurt over the, you know, a period of time. And just so do, you think, sick of do you think that the, the new millennials and I'm assuming these are people that are younger than me because I'm not a millennial. The, the millennials are making it easier for like the older generation to be more acceptable of I, I you know what I truly believe that uh you know how that that old adage that old saying is that we learn from our children right okay I truly believe that because you're right I don't think you guys are millennials right now I don't know what you guys are, are you generation x or something yeah. like that yeah we're generation x I'll be 40 yeah. this year so yeah, yeah yeah so you're not even considered a millennial millennial no. um so like people my age, Yvonne's age, uh, we are baby boomers. 
Okay. So okay. when we were coming up, um, and this is something that Yvonne and I were talking about last night, is that because homosexuality was not something that was uh, right out there and on the table, mm-hmm. when when we were um, put in either a situation to be in the presence of someone who was homosexual or if we had known about whatever it is that they were doing because they're either family or, uh, you know, good friends over the, over the time period that you've known them. When we found out about it, when we were coming up, it was taboo to talk about. We didn't talk about it. We didn't refer to them. We didn't invite them over for the, you know, holiday meals uh, or picnics because they weren't, accepted of being in the social manner, let alone being in a family situation. Right. So when you guys came along, you know, and we started having our own children, okay, as adults, we started having our own children. The the acceptance level has changed. It it, it began to change. Right. You found uh, more younger people now being more out about right. how they felt. Yeah. And we could not, we could not be in judgment of our children's friends who were homosexual. Right. Okay. Yeah. Because then it showed us to be prejudice. Right. And it's something that we have taught our children not to be. Not to be. Yeah, exactly. You know, so there was this shift and we did learn from our children to be more accepting. Right. So there are still some of us, us baby boomers who just won't accept it. They won't get it. They won't. They don't get it. They won't get it. And a lot of them, even if they was what I do find funny is a lot of them aren't even religious and they've got the nerve to quote the Bible as to say, (laughs) (laughs) there is, you know? So yeah, yeah, I believe that. Yes. We have learned a lot of different things from uh, our children as a baby boomer. I have become to be more accepting of things and have a different mindset of things. Uh, and it's only because we have looked at the uh, the level of tolerance. Um, right. And like I said, we've got so many different things that are going on around us that you can't even afford to be prejudiced in these times. No, you, you really can't. can't. You can't. And it doesn't I matter agree. if it's race, racial prejudice, uh, prejudice, prejudice of religion, prejudice right. of sexuality, uh, right. prejudice of class. All you know, yeah, you don't even have enough time in your life to feel that way anymore. No, I agree. Because, you know, because then we are hypocrites if we say, you know, oh, I love you, my sister. I love you, my brother. And you try yeah. and teach your children to love their neighbor. Right. But you can't love the neighbor who is in a sex, uh, same sex relationship or marriage. Right. Yeah. It's, it's, it's crazy to me when people are are super, super judgmental like that because yeah. who are we to judge? Like, seriously, who are we to judge? We're not. Now, I just saw, when I, was re- when I was listening to you, I saw, I wasn't bored. I was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't yawn or anything, but I saw a comment that Kenya said. Um, she says, I was fortunate. My great-grandparents born in the early 1900s raised my great-uncle who was gay mm. and they accepted all of his friends and boyfriends in my fam, it's not a big deal. It was not a big deal. See, that's a beautiful thing. And what I find interesting, though, is that yeah. back in that time period. Right. You know, because then you were on the heels of uh, uh, ending of slavery, you know, uh, chattelism. You were right. on the heels of uh, the reconstruction of uh, our, in, our uh, building industry where blacks right. couldn't uh, be a part of uh, social change. Uh, then came the era of um, uh, human rights and human issues and civil rights 
and right. voting rights and all these different things. Homosexuality was not even something that was accepted then. So right. it's a beautiful thing that she was able to be a part of that growth yeah. within yeah. our own family. So I no, that's her. true. That's yeah, true. I applaud her family. Yeah, her family and she she comes from a really good family too. Yeah. Her family is real awesome. Yeah, and and it's it's interesting. So, you know, then Yvonne she said, love and accepting. Some find the time to be prejudiced against everything. That's true. That is so true, Yvonne. Some people honestly just hate everything. Yeah. Yeah, they do. And I think honestly they hate themselves. That's that, why they hate everything. Well, miserable people have yeah. to be miserable. Yeah. You know, they find fault in everything, but then they want the world to turn and glitter and glow. You know, right. they get yeah. on your own damn. Well, let me stop. No, but that's true. <laughs> and see, one thing, I, see, I love this was this is like perfect because Emerald just chimed in and she says, Christians need to remember it's our job to love, not judge. And see, and maybe that's probably why there's these the different denominations popping up and you know because there are some some christians that are judgmental you know there are some that are like no this is the way the bible is written this is the way it is and then there are some christians that um uh, believe in in love and you just love people how they are how god made them you know love people how god made them you know and and that's all yeah. we can do is love because yeah because i you know what i find interesting and i don't know if anybody else has had this experience but uh, Yvonne and I used to go to the same church, you know, we're in the choir, all these kind of things. Right. And, uh, even before that, uh, I had always been in the church, but what I find is what is really interesting is that we can have a gay choir director, Wait. Uh, a gay uh -oh. piano player Hold on. and the pastor will stand up there in the pulpit and preach on the abominations of homosexuality, but you will allow him to be a part of your music ministry. Right. Uh, or other auxiliaries in the church. Uh, that to me is hypocritical. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's, that's, see, that's a trip to me though. That's a trip because that, that happens a lot. Like I remember we, um, there was a, my old church, we went to this, uh, you know, where they had the battle of the choirs and stuff like that. Yeah. And I was in a choir and there was this Kojic uh, choir that was up there and they were bad. I mean, yeah. they were, they shut it down. Honor, Kojic. They, yeah. Yeah. They shut it down. And, you know, yeah. the choir director, he was, he was gay as he want to be. He was happy. You know, yeah. he was doing his thing and everything. And like even some of the, the, the members. And I was just like, they jamming like the whole time. And I just remember the look. There was this look on one of uh, our choir members' faces of just disgust. Yeah. On her face. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. I was like, hold on, man. They they singing, they singing like the Lord's like word. Like they singing. Like they're praising, like for real. Like that's how you feel right now. And they singing, you know, come on, man. You know, and this look of disgust yeah. was just on her face. But the whole see, time. that's that's the problem I have. That okay, right there, that is yeah. the problem I have, is because you're gonna sit in church and you're gonna tote your Bible and beat your tambourine, okay, and talk about how holy you are and how holy right. thou is, and and all of these great things that God has done for you, and you can get up there and testify, and you can do everything that a church member is supposed to do. Except right. for not judge. And that's the right. biggest thing that God tells judge us to not. do is not yeah. to judge. Yeah. Judge ye not. Yeah. That's exactly what he said. Yeah. And so that's the part that always trips me out because it's so hypocritical. Like I know that there's some people right now flipping through their Bible right now, turning, you know, just flipping through, pissed yeah. off. Yeah. You know, yeah. about this, about this topic, you know. Yeah. And and it's okay. If, if if you're pissed off about this topic, that's good. That means that we dropped a seed mm -hmm. in your heart and we're going to mm -hmm. let the Lord marinate it. We're going to mm -hmm. let the Lord water that. So Amen. Get back to love. Get back to love, you know, because that's really what it's all about. 
to be all the way real. I mean, because look, if, if no sin is greater, like I'm gonna start preaching for a second. If no, if no sin is greater than the next, right? The only sin that's the greatest sin is of course, grieving the Holy Spirit of God. That is the greatest mm -hmm. sin is grieving the Holy Spirit of God. Yeah. So if no sin yeah. is greater than the next, then if, if I was to cheat on my wife with a woman, right? And then, uh, you know, that sin is no greater than that guy that slept with that guy or that girl that slept with that girl. No right. sin is greater. You understand what I'm saying? Sin is like, sin. Who are we to judge? Oh. <laughs> Me so, and Latifa, so we're on the same page. I said sin is sin and there he is. She popped yeah. up. Man, yes. I'm telling you. Yeah. Hypocrites. Yeah. Yeah, she but you know what? And, 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 but I, I just wish that people could actually get away from... Uh, the Bible, not get away from it. Cause I'm not trying to do that. Uh, okay. I want you to take, just take a trip with me. Okay. Take okay. A trip with me. I, I got my seat. Christian or Christian or no Christian. Um, you come across a young man or a young woman and they have their head down. They feel beat down by the world. And you ask them, What's going on? What you know? What's wrong? And as soon as they open their mouth, you can tell that it's nothing but self shame. Mm. You know? Yeah. You can tell by the the way that this person walks, the way that they interact with other people, the way they talk. Uh, you can tell by the way that they carry themselves and how they interact in in social settings that there's something wrong. Mm. Now I want you to imagine that that's your child. Right. Or that is your brother or your sister who's afraid or ashamed to come out because of who they are. Right. Yeah. That's a horrible thing for someone to live like that. And we it call is. ourselves people of God. Christians. Right. right. Yeah, I have a I have a big problem with that. I really do. I, no, I, I really I do too. I do too. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, we're all just people. At the end of the yeah. day, we're all just yeah. people. And you know, it, it's like some somebody hating me just because of the color of my skin. This is the way I was born. You know, I I can't change any of this at all, and wouldn't yeah. want to. Yeah, but know, I I really that. truly believe that a lot of people who are uh, gay or lesbian. I believe that that is who they are. Right. Yeah. They can't change that. I agree. You've yeah. had more people who have committed suicide yeah. because others have forced them into something that they're not. Now, now, Shug, Shug he commented and he uh, gave Shug a is crazy. But, yeah, he said, he said, <laughs> I just want to say I hate everybody equally. Ha! <laughs> I see you, Shug. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. oh my god! And then uh, Denisha, she said, "Everybody sins. Pick one yeah. you can live with." That's yeah. true. Everybody yeah. sins. Pick one you can live yeah. with. That is yeah. the truth right there. Yeah, that's the truth, man. See, you guys are you guys are are really commenting. And then Emerald, she said earlier, she said, "Hypocrites are the biggest problem in the church." Yeah, you know. But of yeah. course, we gotta, you know, you, you know, you gotta still, you know. Just pray for the church, pray for people that are in the church, pray for yourself, you know, and pray for everybody. Because, I mean, I think the, the whole body of Christ just needs a, a healing. The yeah, whole body an uplift. Needs. Yeah, it really does. Up, uplift and a healing because we're so it quick really to does. just do this. You know? Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I think that a lot of times I think that people also will uh, take a side as to what is popular for the moment instead of mm. learning how to stand uh, in their own truth as to what right. they believe, you know, because when we start downing people who have a sexual preference that is different of our own, right. um, then who are you? Right. Who are you, you know, because ain't nobody yeah, it's, saying, it's ain't nobody saying you bad because you like to be spanked. <laughs> you know? <Wait>. so. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh oh, we're going to go down that road, huh? We're going to go down that road. What's that movie? Uh, uh, Gray is the Gray, or what was that book that women read? Oh, Something Fifty Shades. That. Oh, see, I knew you would know about that book. You, you know, probably I got know. the whole collection, huh? Uh, you know, I know. 
you big, you big freak. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, you want to mention your sponsors? Yeah, we need to. Time just went away. I'm I'm tripping. Out I know it. We're already 46 minutes into the show. Yeah, let's make the sponsor. Shades, Shades <laughs> of Africa. Make sure you go over to the Hot Topics Talk Radio website, um, hottopicstalkradio.com. Uh, in, enter forward slash sponsors so that you can see, you know, Shades of Africa with their two locations. Um, and also SPMG Media, FES Protection, and Urban Sentinel with our very own Reggie Kearney. Make sure you go check out our sponsors and all that good stuff. Show them support. Show us support. Let us let them know that you you saw them on the Hot Topics Talk Radio Network. <laughs> All right. Let them know. I'm just you, get some. you know what? Latifa Latifa is too funny. What she say is now? too funny. She told me don't tell on myself. So uh-huh. uh, no, yeah, let me keep that under wraps, okay? Hey, so I'm not Latifa. gonna tell y'all that I mm. uh huh. She likes she likes to smack or. <laughs> Wait, wait, hold on. Either you like to smack or you like to get smacked. Which one is it, Tony? I like to get smacked. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh-huh. Uh, see, Mr. Should. He she's says a, spankings are fantastic. Yeah, she's a big old freak. She's a big old freak. Wait, where are your handcuffs at? Where are your handcuffs at? Uh oh. She's on. Un- she's under arrest. Oh, she's my, under gosh. arrest. oh my gosh! Uh, oh my oh, gosh! Oh my gosh! I was trying to read Uh-oh. some of the other comments. Uh, Emerald says, um, "I'm no, I'm not homophobic. I just need to know if I'm in competition with both women and men. I like yeah, that's that. True. Yeah, that's real. I like that. Yeah, because like I was saying earlier, you know, I don't think it's an issue of judging those." who are on the DL. I think right. it's an issue that they are not honest and open and transparent with the people that they lay with. That's the issue. Yeah, that's a that's a big that's a big issue. Can we just let cuz we talked about it briefly. Can we just go down that road real quick? Sure. Just just a little bit. Like for real. If you gay, <laughs> then be gay. Like just Come out of the closet, you know, and and don't don't like put yeah. your girl at risk or don't put your man at risk. You know what I mean? Like, just 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 don't I agree. be a DL person that's, because that's I, yeah, it, 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 because I don't think that people understand that, and especially these 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 men or these women who decide to live, you know, so deep in the closet that they're trying to fool other people. I don't think that they understand the uh, the gravity of what right. it does when you withhold your sexual preferences uh, of what you want or who you want. I don't think they understand the gravity because um, I was trying to, you know what? It, I think we did a show, Yvonne, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I think we did a show back five years ago and we were talking about men on the DL. So you, more than likely, these men have families. Wow. They're married. They have children. They have responsibilities wow. of paying a mortgage, the car notes, the children's daycare, all these things. So when it is found out that uh, a man is on the down low and he's got all of these different responsibilities. Yeah, Yvonne said yes. So mm. um, the gravity of his actions tears down a whole household right it doesn't affect the it doesn't affect the woman that he's laying with every night it doesn't just affect her it affects the children right because now exactly it affects how you take care of your finances it affects everything so i agree with you if you're gonna be with a man be with a man yep if you're gonna gonna go down that road be with a woman that's up to you and it's yeah. only up to you right. but don't keep things a secret because things will fall apart and they can never be recovered no oh, that's true it can't be recovered it can't be re- you know redeemed so what wait wait yeah it, it just it, it can't but see i was about to go say something funny but oh i'm not i'm not gonna say it i'm gonna be politically <laughs> correct tonight i'm not gonna say it 
I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna okay. say it. Okay. So I'm gonna give Wait, you a no, pass. I'm gonna say one pass. I'm you gonna might say as well it. say it because everybody wants to know now. Okay. So what are your thoughts? And I want to ask everybody else's opinion oh, on God, that. God, I hate when Wait, you have you seen off. that video? Have you seen the video of the guy that said he's been delivered? That he's not gay, no mo's. He's not gay, no mo's. I've no. been delivered. He likes mans. That's what he says. Have you seen that video? <laughs> he said, no. <laughs> it's no. so funny. You you've never seen that video, Tony? Never. Come on. Okay, I've Tony. never seen it. I know the listeners saw this video. I know the listeners saw this video. This video is this dude. He's standing at the the way. Okay, let me give you this the setting. He's standing at the front. He's standing at the altar. It's the altar call. And it's her, his turn to get the mic. This video is like a year old. He's standing at the mic. And he says, you know, you, this is when you admit, like, the issues that you had or whatever the case right, may be. And right. how God delivered you. Right. And he goes, he goes, I've been delivered. I don't like mans no more. I used to do this and this. And I don't like mans no more. Are and, you serious? Yeah. So now he does this thing, right? And, and he, like. He they call him the sister of the church because <laughs> he's doing like these little like uh, these video episodes where he's just doing these little rants about things and he's talking about everything. Talk about he's delivered, not delivered. He's delivered, <laughs> and he 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 don't like mans no more. That's what he's. I'm surprised you never seen that. I've never seen it. Yeah, Somebody I guess he. Send that to me. Yeah, somebody send needs to send to that. My over. Facebook. I want to see. I'm shocked it. that you never seen that. That's crazy. Never, never. Somebody but send see, it to me. But see, here's the thing: like all of his his mannerisms and everything that he does and how he acts and everything is like a gay man, right? Even still to this day, like the way he does his hair and his hats and all that type of stuff. Like, is he just? And he's saying that he's not gay anymore. Like, so I'm confused. Like, what's going on? I don't understand. I'm confused. Like, how does I wonder how the gay people feel about someone like that that say that they've been delivered? Because then you have some serious Christians out there that are going to look at that situation and see, I told you God could deliver you and change you. You weren't born that way. But see, that's but, making it seem what I'm like, saying? right. But that means that it's making the well, that makes it seem like, uh, you're not taking serious these Maybe people. that's what it is. Right. You you just you're not taking them serious. Yeah, I'm I'm so shocked that you've never seen that video, Tony. Never. I am I'm like waiting for somebody shocked. to send it to my Facebook. Yeah, send it like, to my even, Facebook. Yeah, yeah. I I'm don't put it on my page, that. send it to my messenger. Because I get <laughs> messages. You guys don't even know. I get all kind of messages after these shows. Oh yeah. my God, especially this kind of show. I'll have yeah. all kinds of messages in my inbox, you know, from the LBGTQ committees, uh -oh. uh, communities. Trust me, it happens. Over oh, the, the committee, yeah. like the, the, the police. The communities. They're gonna, they're gonna, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Wait, oh, okay. So, wait, to, to, uh, Tamikia, I, hopefully I said it right. Tamikia, she said that, yes, he's hilarious. I don't take him serious at all. Okay, so she doesn't take that guy serious at all. No, I'm okay. saying I, I was saying and in, in meaning that if someone was to look at that, you know how people find stuff wrong and all kind of stuff, right? Right. But if he's saying, "Oh, I've been delivered. I've been delivered," that's just like no, you know no, people no. who are he trying to he change. Delivered. He's been delivered. <laughs> he's been delivered. You know I'm a grammar freak, right? Yeah, but well then you better say it like he said it. He said he's been delivered. That's delivered. The way he said it. Yeah, with a T. Delivered. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh, how funny. How funny. Says she just sent it to you right now. Thank you, Miss M. Thank yeah. you. I will oh, look at perfect. it when we get off. <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh. I can't believe we got five minutes left. Yeah, it just seems like, like, yeah, this time went by too fast, like for real. It really yeah. did. And you know what? I and I really enjoyed the way tonight's topic went. I, okay. I really did. I really did. 
Um, if we had KV on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That could have been all bad. <laughs> yeah, then your inbox would have really been blown up and you would have probably been on reported to Facebook. Uh, you know, <laughs> the show would have been kicked off. Venice, yeah, Facebook jail. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. My brother wouldn't do it like but no, that. No, I he, think he, he would have. I think he would have done very well. I really do. Yeah, but he you would know have been what? Fine. I think um, I would really like to even do something that is a follow up to this. Okay. And I want to think about that. And I'd like to be able to have someone on who I think that's is. A good idea who is gay or who is lesbian to maybe okay. speak on some of the issues of uh, the stereotypes, because I well, think that just... a lot of people are afraid of homosexuals or have a homophobic attitude because maybe they're afraid of certain things. And right. I think that it would be interesting to have someone on that could that actually be on camera. It. Yeah. Yeah. That or someone has, has come out. victim. Exactly. Yeah, been victim of a homophobic situation. Yeah. You know what? That's a good that's a good follow up talk. I wonder what the list what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do you think we should do a, a follow up topic like that? I want to see what the comments yeah. say. Yeah. About being homophobic, you know. Um yeah. like bring on maybe the... maybe two. Maybe two yeah. people. Yeah, because I mean you guys got enough room to do it on here, I think. Um, but yeah. I think that that would kind of I, I, I think that would kind of, you know, disparage some of the the fears. And I think that people might have a better understanding or uh, their tolerance level will change. I, I really honestly believe that because I would yeah. like to see that people, you know, change because yeah. what they're doing is no different from what we're living today. We're blacks right. and Hispanics and people of color uh, yeah. are, are being... Um, victimized by the system or be down in the streets or discriminated against in Starbucks or that yeah, is anywhere. Where, yeah. Driving, yeah. walking down yeah. the street. Yeah. But I think it will be an interesting show to do that. Our president so let's, saying let's the try and wall, figure that. Everything. Oh, you know what? Don't get me on Trump. <laughs> no, look, I cannot yeah. do Trump tonight. I cannot. Yeah. Cause I'll no? say some bad words. Uh huh. Wait, hold on, wait. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Emerald oh. said she thinks it's a good idea to have a part two of the show. Mm -hmm. Yvonne says she thinks it's a good idea, you know, see if they've been delivered. And then, wait a uh, minute. Wait, Emerald but says... I know what she said. I was going to get back to that. I was going to get back to that. Hold on. She said... Angel, I mean, uh, Emerald said, she says, as long as we do, as you promise... To also do a show about spanking and handcuffs. You know what? Hey! Let's do a show about spanking and handcuffs and the whole S and M thing. Let's do oh, it. We could. That'll be fun. I want to do a whole thing because, like, can I wear I, my cuff, my neck cuff, and my chain? Yeah, yeah we could. Wait, Latifah. <laughs> she already got the title. Hold on, Latifah came with the title. She said, "Freaky fetishes." Hell yeah. That's oh, what I'm talking about. I like oh, that, Mister Should. You sure. see what Mr. Shug wrote? Yes. Spankings, handcuffs, baby oil. Wait, I've gone too far. No, you haven't. Keep going. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh-huh. There it is. There it is. Oh, oh yeah. Trump, Trump is a punk. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Trump is a bitch. Excuse me. Did uh -oh. I say that? Well, I, you, I don't see why not. We live in a free country. We live in a That's free country. I, said, I didn't want his name to come up because I get really angry and violent. I hear you. And belligerent. Well, we, we live in a free country. Hold on, wait. Let's see. Shug, you're a mess, big brother. Yvonne said we did that. You guys did that, she said. She said did we, we did that. I don't know, but you haven't did it on man to man yet, so it's going to be a whole nother level now. It's going to yeah. be a whole nother level now. Because, you know what, me and Yvonne were talking about this last night. We've done so many freaking shows. We've been on air since uh, That's we freaks. launched 2011. That's because we... y'all freaks. <laughs> you and Yvonne. Y'all freaks. That's Yvonne's really freakier than I am. <laughs> Yvonne is. Oh, wait, hold up. What's up, Yvonne? T <laughs> hold on. We, she, she might need to be a guest on that show then. Hold on. Uh-huh. 
Because see, she's a, <laughs> she's a veteran now. So she could come on and do man to man with you guys. And man, she'd have you tripping. Uh oh. Shook said, don't get him started. No, don't you get me started. How's Uh-oh. that? Hmm. Uh oh. I'm a woman that's over 50. Uh oh. So I she can said, show you some behind the ears, Shook. She said, your breath still smell like Similac, dog. Mm-hmm. That's what she said. <laughs> she, she said, she said she's going to bend you over and smack you on your ass. Oh, oh. that's oh. what she said. That's what she I'll said. Have him, look, I have him in the corner sucking his thumb. Don't like Wait. Me. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait. She's going to have you sucking your thumb. <laughs> oh, wait! Oh my God! Yeah, she she no. said she said you're gonna be sucking on a bottle, dog. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh uh. Don't let her have the last word, Sugar. I'm waiting on your reply. I Don't know. Let her have he the hasn't last said word. nothing. He hasn't said anything. Yeah, I think I think you got the last word on the look. Word. Look, on. I, look, I done messed him up so bad. Now he's fucked. He's all fucked up with the typewriter. He came. Hit a key. <laughs> <laughs> he over he over there stutter typing. He stutter typing, huh? He's <laughs> still <laughs> stutter typing. <laughs> oh shit! Wait a minute, Yvonne. She says she's she's older. She is. She's older. She's got more tricks up her sleeve. Uh-oh. All right now. See, I don't even know how Uh-oh. we went to this. How did we digress to this? Because you're a freak. That's how we went to this. We went to this because you're a freak. Now we going over the show talking about freaky fetishes and how you like to get smacked on the ass. That's how hey. we did it. Wait, hold on. What's, what's behind that? Is that a whip? Hold on. Is that a whip over there? I think I see a whip in the background. Wait, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. This is why whip, I whip. like big microphones. Oh, <laughs> don't grab that mic too tough. Hold on. Grab that mic one more time. Grab that mic one, one more time. Yeah, grab the mic. <laughs> Ooh, hey, Shug, she called you out, dog. <laughs> Wait, yeah, you got, yes, you got called out, Shug. Man, she went all the way in on you. She said she liked big mics. What? That's what she said. And you notice she got real close in, too, when she started talking about the mic. She got oh, close, yeah. real close in. See, Val was here. We both had our mics last night. Wait. See, that's how oh. we do it. Wait a second. Hold See, on. she had her mic over there on the other side of the room. Okay. I had Look. my mic over here. We were Wait. broadcasting together. Wait, so so yeah. you both won't talk into the same mic? No. At the same time? <laughs> <laughs> Pray for me. Pray for me. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna wrap it up on that one. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh I my know god. that's right, Latifa. Okay. She said older up. women, older women know what they want. The younger ones are uh, still learning. That's right. That is so see, right. <laughs> Anjali said we should do man to man after dark. Now she she's been telling oh. me that. Yeah. Now Shug, he just said it just got real. <laughs> it just got real. It sure did. Yeah. It it got real. Yeah. We need to do a uh, man to man after dark. <laughs> Yeah, man to man. Oh my dark. gosh, how funny! How funny! <laughs> oh uh, my gosh! Well, I had a good time on the show. It was very interesting. Um, I'm glad you did. Yeah, you did. It, it was very interesting. You know, I like I said, I'm real careful because I don't ever want to offend anybody. Um, but just like the topic and the subject matter of speaking on uh, uh, racism. This is also a topic and subject matter that needs to be spoken to because then it will tear down those walls of I people agree. being afraid. Uh, because I think that's that's the biggest part of being homophobic is fear and not right. an understanding. So I, I, I so it has to be talked about. No, I agree. I, I think it was a great conversation, you know. Uh, and I and I learned a lot. You know, I learned a lot. Like when you told me not to say lifestyle during the show. You know, I I never knew that. I didn't know yeah. that like people in the, in the in the gay community took offense to that. Like yeah. that's yeah. so because I it's a not too. a lifestyle. Because that's like saying being black is a lifestyle. No, right? Lifestyle right. is right. how you live. Like with the right. things that you have, the the places you like to go, the money you spend. 
That is a lifestyle. It's right. a difference. No, that's true. That's it real. So thank All you. This right. was good. I'm glad you were on the show tonight. Y'all listeners, hey, thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your continued support on Man to Man TV. Uh, and everybody that commented tonight, y'all, y'all, y'all the bomb. They were like, on seriously. it tonight. You they guys are, it. you guys are the bomb. Yvonne, Kenya, Anjali, Emerald, Shug, uh, everybody. Let's see. Lucy, she was on there. David, the you were watching. Shug uh, is Denisha, making me hot. Latifa, <gasps> Shug is making you hot. What? <gasps> hey, 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 Shug. <laughs> hey, Shug. Hey, she says she's moist. That's what she said. Look, I'm glistening. She's glistening <laughs> all over her body. Body. <laughs> all over her body, Shug. She's glistening. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, you got you got her sweating over there, dog. She, she getting a little closer to the mic, too. Oh, my gosh. She getting closer to the mic, too. Uh, she's zooming in on you, Shug. Hold up. <laughs> Oh, man, you've been watching Man to Man TV. <gasps> For the past couple of weeks, it's been Man to Woman, you know, but it's all good, you know. <laughs> Tony's been helping us out. It's always love when, when Tony Breed Love is on the show with us. Uh, you know, we miss you, Chris. I know you handling your business. I know you probably ducked out to watch that first game. You could tell me the real. It's cool. I know you're I know you watching the game right now. It's cool, man. I love you. I love you that much. I love y'all, uh, and I appreciate you guys for watching the show tonight. And, again, make sure you go over to our page, Tell your friends about our show, like the page, share the page, tell everybody about it, and also send us topics that you want us to talk about. We don't care what it is. We don't care what it is. Send us the topics. We will talk about it. Like, for real. We will talk about it. It will be 100% authentic and real, okay? So we love you. We thank you for your continued support, and we'll see you next week, all right? Next Thursday, same time, 7 o'clock. Love y'all. Have a good night. All right. One more thing I'd like to uh, be able to say right quick. Okay. I'm not going to take too much time. Uh, last show of the week. So if you are in California and uh, you want to do something fun, come on out to the 10th annual uh, all alumni picnic for Banning High School. I will be co emceeing again my eighth year. So come sure, on that's out. That's your moment. That's your moment, sure. <laughs> That's your moment, dog. <laughs> That's your moment right there. Look, is she in California? Him. Yes, he is. Hold on. Oh. She just gave you. She just invited you personally, Shook. Like, why would she be on Man to Man TV talking about? Okay, I'm gonna be right here. This is where I'm gonna be on this date. I'm gonna Come give on, him man. the time too. Yeah, read between the lines. So y'all listen up, Shook. Get your notepad and pen out. <laughs> Go ahead, write it down. Write it down. Go ahead, Tony. Okay, go ahead. Oh, my God. So this Saturday, it is happening, the 10th Annual All-Alumni Banning High School Picnic happening at Point Furman Park in the beautiful city of San Pedro. The fun begins at 10 o'clock a.m., and it will last throughout 5 o'clock p.m. But the after party is going down at Buffalo Wild Wings, and uh, all the alumni is invited, even if you're not. Uh, a alumni, or if you're not from Banning High School, come on out, join the fun. Come out and meet me. I would love to see you there this Saturday. She would love Satur- to see you, sir. <laughs> Saturday. That's what she said. This saying. Saturday, June second, ten o'clock a.m. to five o'clock p.m. Point and, Furman and, and. Park in San Pedro. Wait, say the location Cal- again. Location. One point. More time. Point Furman Park. She said it. Look, she said she talked into the mic at the park. That's what she's saying. She's saying she's talking in the mic at the park. Okay. She said she's emceeing. Sure. That's what she said. And she even told you where the after party is. I'm just telling you what's going on. Oh right, go my ahead. gosh. <laughs> You're a mess. You're a mess. So nah, I will see I'm you guys out in game. <laughs> I'll see you guys out in California this week on Saturday. So again, you are invited. I'm like, I'm like there. You should. You yeah. should. I'm lots of drink, there. lots of food. Uh, fun. Uh, fun. Yeah, I might I might just do that on Saturday. That's gonna yeah. be fun. Absolutely. So I just wanted to say that at last. Um, but uh make sure that you follow. <laughs> Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh my God. Suge is a mess. Hey, we gotta bring Suge on the show. You know, oh my God. Got to bring him so I gotta put up his man. comment before we go. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta bring Suge on the show. We have to. We have to. He said, my left nipple just got hard. Ha! <laughs> now, now here's the funny thing. Hold on, real quick. Real quick, Tony. Here's the funny thing. I'm dead serious. One day when you get a chance, just put do a hashtag, okay? Because it's it's the funniest shit you'll ever read in your entire life. Just do a hashtag and, and put on there shit Suge says. He says crazy <laughs> shit all damn day. I got to find him on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look. Hey, Suge, now she want to be your friend. She going to hit you on the DM, dog. She going to hit you on the DM. Serious? She going to hit you on the DM. She going to send you the directions personally, Suge. Talking to that mic. Tell him what you're going to do. Tell him what you're going to do. I will not. Talking to the mic. Tell him. Tell him that you want to be his friend on Facebook. Can I be your friend? Should his can I? His right please. nipple just got hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, we, we gotta, gotta go. get out of here. Yeah, we gotta go. <laughs> All right, it's been real, Tony. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, everybody. You. Love you back, and uh, you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and a fantastic weekend. Keep God first and always yes. walk in His light. We love you. Good night, and don't judge us. <laughs> pray for us, okay? Pray that, that, for please us. pray. <laughs> All right, good night, y'all. <laughs> love y'all. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, my goodness. I can't even clear it yet. Hang on a second, you guys. I'm trying to get out of here. Man-to-man radio, uh, man-to-man TV, you are now clear.